Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today I'm going to show you how I painted these Veteran Day poppies. So stay tuned. So to start off with, I painted my rock black and then I just freehand my design onto the rock, but I do have the traceable available on my Patreon page. Um, it is free for everyone. You don't have to be a Patreon subs a subscriber, uh, like a tongue twister, Patreon subscriber to get the traceables. The traceables are always free for everyone. The link is listed below in the description. If you don't know exactly where the description is or how to expand it, here's a little video up here to show you exactly where it's located. Down in the description box, you'll also find a link to all of the supplies that I use in my videos, along with links to my social media page, website, things like that. Okay. It is down in the description. So I'm still just working out my design. I'm using a General's Charcoal pencil in white, which you can see you can either erase with your finger, water, or in this case, I was using an eraser uh, from a pencil, which also works really well. So I'm using Liquitex Basics and I'm using red. Now I'm not gonna paint my design white first but if you want your flowers to be a brighter red then I would suggest going ahead and painting the design white first so that your red will be a lot brighter So on my brush strokes, I'm making sure that my brush strokes go in the direction of the petal because you, in my case, I wanted my brush strokes to show they're going to help create the texture of the petal themselves, you know, because poppy leaves or uh, petals are very thin and they have a lot of texture to them. So I wanted that to show up. Plus, as crazy as it is, Texture, brush strokes, and things like that make painting sell for some reason, as opposed to a very flat, um, kind of reprinted artwork. Uh, doesn't sell as well as an original um, piece would. So the brush strokes, over the years I've figured out the brush strokes actually sell better than smooth paintings. It's like we sell eggs. We have chickens and we have three different kinds of chickens and we have the what what they call a black copper marin and they sell a they lay an egg that's like a like the color of um, Dr. Pepper or something. It's a very dark egg and they're real pretty. And then we have some lighter colored chickens where the egg is like a light brown and people for some reason always think that the darker the egg the better it is for you which is not the case but you can actually ask more money for a really dark egg we don't we sell our eggs very cheap but they're like 250 a dozen so because we have so many chickens we just have to get rid of eggs it's ridiculous but people are always shocked because they think that the dark egg is healthier for you. Now, all they're healthier for you than a white egg from the store 
free range chickens are going to be healthier for you. But once you're in a free range uh, chicken, the color of the egg doesn't really matter. That's just a little bit of background information on chickens. Probably didn't need to know that. But just in case you did, now you do know. So anyway, I'm still working out my petals. You can see I'm working on keeping my brush strokes in there. And I painted the centers black and then just went over them with a little bit of white. And then I added some dots on the top. And for me, since I didn't paint my petals white first, I'm going to have to put a lot of layers on top of this to get it bright enough. Now, for the highlighted areas, I'm using orange mixed in with my red. I prefer orange as opposed to white because white's going to make it look more pink. And the poppies that we have, we they're more of a, a orangish red is what's kind of common around our area and I live in central Texas one of the big cities next to, I live in a very small town but one of the big cities next to us has a poppy festival every year so a lot of people in that town have um, a lot of poppies and they're kind of this orangish red color they're beautiful my mother-in-law even has them in her yard. And you want to make sure that the edge of the petals is is real choppy. You don't want smooth petals on the tips. You definitely want them to be all kind of jagged. And you could paint these whatever color you wanted. You, they don't even have to be to be red. Um, I think for the Veterans Day poppy, I think they are red. Um, I think according to the like the poem that McCray wrote, which is where the poppy symbol came from. Um, I think he talks about the red poppies, if I remember correctly. I should go back and revisit that the poem. But the poppy is the symbol for Veterans Day, for the people that have lost their lives and for the people that have served in the military and this is has a lot of meaning to me because I have my brother uh, was in the military my father was in the was in the Navy my brother was in the army I have a cousin who was also in the army and I'm very thankful for their service and then I have I have a lot of good friends that were also in the military as well. So this is to honor all of all of the people that have served and given their life for us. And 
So now I'm just working on the green, uh, the green, the leaves. And I'm using Hooker's Green. Again, all my supplies are listed below in the description. Um, but this is Hooker's Green. And, and then a permanent light green, I believe, is the highlight color that I used. Now in the traceable, the leaves are different because uh, my rock is domed and I didn't have a lot of room. Um, when I drew out the traceable, I drew it a little bit different in case you had more room on your rock uh, to help you kind of fill in some areas. So it's just a little bit different than what I have here. The flower placement's the same. The leaves are a little different. I think there's just more leaves on the traceable. So if you've never done flowers before, I would definitely encourage you to try it. They're a great study in um, contrast and working on getting your lights light and your darks dark. And that's what, and I say it I think in almost every video, how important your contrast is. Because that's what builds depth in your painting. And so it doesn't look flat. So it looks dimensional. No matter what kind of style you're painting in, you you want areas that are dark and you want areas that are light. And don't be afraid to go dark. It's easy to go light, but sometimes it's intimidating to go dark. But remember, when you're working in acrylics, if you don't like something, let it let that layer dry. And you can go back over and you can lighten it or you can darken it or you can change the color completely. There's so much flexibility with acrylics that it's it's a great medium to learn how to create depth in your painting. So as I finish up this rock, I just want to thank each and every one of you so much for your support. It means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.